So let us try to understand how to locate the instantaneous center of rotation for some complex mechanism. So here we are having the mechanism whose dimensions are given over here and for this particular mechanism we have to locate the instantaneous center of all the instantaneous center of rotation. So here OA is the crank which is rotating in a particular direction and as this crank rotates the various links they will oscillate and its piston will slide as shown over here. So that is the path of this sliding is traced over here by this particular black line and this link is oscillating as shown over here. Now by observation we can find out some or we can locate some instantaneous center of rotation. So suppose this link OA is the link number 2, one is the fixed link. This particular AB is the third link suppose, then this BC is the fourth link, CD that is the fifth link, the slider itself is the sixth link. So there are total n number, that is six number of links are there and therefore we will have nearly 15 number of instantaneous center of rotation. Now this 1 and 2 they will form instantaneous center I12 that is the fixed ICR because out of this 1 and 2 this first link is the fixed link. So I12 will be located over here and it is the fixed ICR. Similarly this 2, 3 is pin jointed over here at point A and therefore this I23 will form the permanent ICR. So this I23 is the permanent ICR whereas this I12 is a fixed ICR. Similarly this link 3 and this link 4 they are pin jointed over here. So they will form a permanent ICR I34. Now as this point E is fixed and the link 4 is passing through this or it is connected to this particular point this 1 and 4 they will form a fixed ICR because out of this 1 and 4, 1 is the fixed point. So this is fixed point and this is also fixed point. So here we can write down this as 1 and this 1 is connected to this 4 or rather 4 is connected to this particular 1. So I14 is also fixed ICR. Then this fourth link and this fifth link they are pin jointed over here at point C. So they will form a permanent ICR. Similarly 5 and 6 the fifth link and sixth link is a slider that are pin jointed over here. So this particular ICR is I56 and it is a permanent ICR. Now as this piston is sliding in the fixed guides, we can say that this is 1 and piston is 6. So 6 that is slider is reciprocating, it, it is reciprocating with respect to this first link and the path of sliding is horizontal. So as it is reciprocating in the horizontal path, the ICR will be perpendicular to the path of sliding and going towards infinity. So this I16 is nothing but ICR which will go towards infinity because sliding can be considered as the rotation with infinite radius. So in this way we are having this number of ICRs and it is a fixed ICR because this one out of this 1 and 6, this one is the fixed link. So we can say that this is the fixed ICR. Now we have drawn this circle diagram, we have divided this circle diagram into number of links that is there are 6 number of links are there so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so divide this circle into 6 parts. Now various ICRs which we have found out by inspection we can join them by the solid lines so I12 is known to us so join 1 to 2 then 2, 3 is also known to us so join that also by a fixed line. In 3, 4 is known to us by inspection, so join that line. Similarly, 1, 4 that we have drawn over here, then 4, 5 that is the permanent ICR, and similarly, 5, 6 that is the permanent ICR, and then this 1, 6 that is going towards infinity, and that also we have joined over here. So these are the ICRs which are known to us, and we have joined this by solid lines. Remaining ICRs we have to find out. Now as we have already seen number of links are 6 and total number of ICRs they are given by n into n minus 1 upon 2. So in place of small n we can substitute 6. So total number of ICRs that we obtain will be 15. Now as already we have seen in the earlier slide these are the ICRs which are known to us that is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, this 1, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6 and 1, 6. So all these ICRs 
they are known to us. Remaining I set that is 1, 3, 1, 5, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 5, 3, 6, and 4, 6. That we have to look at graphically. So let us see step by step how to locate this ICR 1, 3, 1, 5, 2, 4, 2, 5, and all other remaining ICRs by graphical method. Now, first try to understand the basic process. Suppose we want to find out or rather we have to locate this 1, 3, then we can join this 1 and this 3 by a dotted line and then it will form two triangles on either side of it. So let us see in the next slide how to locate that particular one. So we have joined this 1, 3 over here. So now we are locating I13. So we have joined by dotted line this 1, 3. It will form these two triangles as shown over here. So the shaded triangles are important for us. So this 1, 3 is the combination of these two triangles. That is 1, 2, 3 and 1, 4, 3. In other words, we can say that this ICR 1, 3 can be located by using these two triangles, combination of these two triangles. So we'll consider the first triangle. So 1, 2 and 2, 3. Leave this 1, 3. So 1, 2 and 2, 3, we have to join this ICR. So this is our 1, 2 and this is 2, 3. They are already joined. Just extend them. So as indicated by this red line. So we have extended these two ICRs. That is 1, 2 and this 2, 3 by this red line. Then the next particular triangle is 1, 4, 3. So leave this 1, 3. So we are having this 3, 4 and 1, 4. So join this 3, 4 and 1, 4. So 3, 4 is over here and 1, 4 is over here. They are already joined. Just extend them. So again, this extension is shown by this red line. Wherever these two, they meet each other. These two lines, they meet each other. We are getting this particular ICR I13. Similarly, we have to locate now the another ICR. So suppose we want to locate I15. So join this 15. So that is shown over here. Again, it will form two triangles on this either side of this 15. So consider this triangle 165 and then 145. Suppose we consider 16 and 56. So we have to join this ICR. Now, as this particular ICR, we know that it is the ICR which is going to infinity. It must pass to this 56. So 56 is located over here. So from this 56, this ICR 16 is already passing. So keep it as it is. Go to the next particular triangle. So this 154. Leave this 15 as it is. So this 14 and 45 we have to join. So 14 is over here and 45 is over here. So those they are already joined, just extend them. So wherever they intersect this particular ICR, join of this particular ICR. So we are getting this I15 over here. So again, try to understand this. We are having these two triangles. So 16 and 56 we have to join. But as this 16 ICR is going towards infinity, just the sufficient condition is that it must pass through this point 56. So it is already passing through this 56. So keep this ICR as it is, this combination of the ICR as it is. The next combination from the another triangle is 145. So join this 14 and 45. So 14 and 45, they are already joined. Just extend them so that they can intersect over here at 15. So in this way, we have located this ICR I15. Now we look at the ICR 24. So join this 2 and 4. Again, it will form these two triangles. Now 2, 3, 3, 4, we have to join. So this is 2, 3 and 3, 4 is this particular one. They are already joined. So this is the link itself. Then next combination is 1, 2 and 1, 4. So 1, 2 is this particular ICR and 1, 4 is this ICR. So there you can join this particular two. So they are intersecting at this particular point. So this point of intersection is nothing but I24. So in this way, we have located this I24 also. So 2, 3, 3, 4, we have to join. They are already joined. Then 1, 2 and 1, 4, we have to join. So those are already joined. We can join these also and they will intersect each other at this particular point that is 2, 4.
Now suppose we want to locate I46. So join this 46. It will form two triangles. So this 4556. So 45 and ICR56 they are already joined. Then next one is 16 and 14. So this I16 is going towards infinity, it must pass through 14. So draw a line parallel to this I16 passing through this 14. So this red dotted line indicates a line drawn parallel to this vertical I16 line and passing through 14. So this red line will intersect this 4, 5 and 5, 6 at point I46. So in this way we can locate this ICR I46. Similarly, we can locate 2, 6. So join this 2, 6. So it will form two triangles. This is the first triangle and this is the second triangle. So it is a combination of 1, 2, 1, 6. So this 1, 6 is nothing but the ICR which is going to infinity. Transfer that ICR on 1, 2. So as shown over here. The next combination is 2, 4 and 4, 6. So 2, 4 already we have obtained and 4, 6 also already we have obtained. So join this. So we have joined this and then we have extended so that it will intersect this I16 at point 26. So in this way we have located this I26 also. Now we have to locate the another instantaneous center of rotation that is 2, 5. So join this 2, 5. So it will form two triangles 2, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 5. So leave this 2, 5. So it is a combination of 1, 2 and 1, 5. So first combination is 1, 2 and this 1, 5 that we are already joined over here. The another combination is 2, 4 and 4, 5. So 2, 4 and 4, 5 is this one. So join this also and extend. So wherever these two intersect, that is our ICR I2, 5. So again see how to locate this particular ICR I25. So join this 25. This is the combination of 1, 2, 1, 5. So join 1, 2 and 1, 5. So 1, 2 is over here. 1, 5 is over here. So join this by this red dotted line. Similarly, the another triangle is 2, 4 and 4, 5. So 2, 4 is this particular one and 4, 5, so join that also by dotted line and extend this so that it will intersect this line joining I12 and I15 at point 25. So in this way we can locate this I25 also. Similarly we can locate I36. So join this 36. So it will form two triangles on either side of this. So it is one 3, 6. So it is combination of 1, 6 and 1, 3. So 1, 6 we can transfer on 1, 3. So we have transferred this 1, 6 on 1, 3 over here like this. So initially transfer this 1, 6 on 1, 3. Now the another combination is 3, 4 and 4, 6. So this is 3, 4 and 4, 6. So join that. It is already joined and extended. So they will intersect at this particular point. Right? That is the line joining this 1, 6 and I, 1, 3 at point 3, 6. So in this way, we can look at I, 3, 6. Now finally, we have to look at I, 3, 5. So this 3, 5 we have joined. Again, it will form these two triangles 3, 4, 5 and 3, 5, 6. So leave this 3, 5. So this 3, 4, 4, 5. So 3, 4 and 4, 5. They are already joined. Just extend them. Similarly, 3, 6 and 5, 6. So 3, 6 is this particular one and 5, 6 is this one. So again join and extend them. So they will meet somewhere over here out of this particular screen so that we are not shown over here. So in this way, we can look at all the ICRs in case of some complex mechanisms.